So now let's review the parasternal long axis view. First thing we want to do is get a good window and we'll circle around and stumble into our window. And then it's very easy, in this case look at the apex, I'm cutting it off. And I'm also cutting off the aorta a little bit. This in many times is a simple twisting of the transducer. You can see now I'm just twisting the probe and that is what's causing that view. Oh, let me go my circle and find my view again. That's what's causing the collapse of the, the left ventricle and the, and the aortic root is just a twist. So make sure in that particular case when you're cutting off the aorta and the ventricle that a twist can really help you find the best window or improve your window that you've already found. Now in this particular case I've got a very nice parasternal long axis view but it is indeed very low. I wouldn't want to do my M-mode measurements from here. So usually the fix for this uh, low window is to move closer to the sternum. See how the, vent the ventricle is getting flatter now and flatter and flatter still. And now I can do my circle where I'm at where I have a nice flat ventricle and fine tune that image and now I've got a good parasternal long axis view. Now it might not be as pretty as the lower view was. It might not be uh, have the aesthetics that we'd like to see. So in that case you want to go ahead and do your M mode from this flat window so you, you're sure you've got a nice perpendicular M mode and you can see the aorta is kind of uh, drifting away there a little, uh, a little adjustment now I can open up the aorta again but now when we want to get our 2D view we want to surely see the aorta and the aortic valve this is a nice flat view for good M mode but now it may be time to go ahead and slide to that little bit lower window so we can have a nicer 2D view go ahead and use this view for your 2D and then use the flatter view for your M mode so you're most accurate in both, in both cases now, I'm going to go to the RARV view. Now, what's the best way to get the RARV view? If you look at how I'm angling the transducer, it's already somewhat angled. It's not perfectly perpendicular across this sternum. It's already uh, 45 degrees off of that. So if I aim that transducer towards this patient's right hip, there's the RARV view. And then I can circle around a little bit and try to improve that. But it's a simple, on plane, moving towards the right hip. This is not a twist a little, turn a little, lean a little one way or the other. It's just a one angle towards the right hip. There's the RARV view. And then in short axis, we want to make sure we're perfectly round. You don't want to have a off axis short axis view because you won't be seeing the chambers that you expect you should be seeing. So in this case, here we have a perfect mitral valve. The best place to check for how round you are is with the mitral leaflets. So we can see both leaflets across, they're horizontal uh, across the screen more or less, and they're completely parallel to one another. Now if I'm not perfectly twisted, you can see that we, we're kind of coming to a point on this side, and we're open on this side, that means I need to twist the transducer. If it's open on this side, I'm going to twist the transducer in that same direction to the right. It's open on the right, I'm going to twist the transducer to the right. If I'm over twisted to the right, then the bottom of the triangle is on the left. So I need to twist the transducer in the direction of the open side and now by twisting the triangle goes away. Let me get that back for you again. So you can see the point is over on this side, the open end is on this side. So I'm going to twist it in that direction to the left and flatten out my mitral again. So now I, I do have a good cross-sectional view. And you can use that to make sure you're have a good cross-sectional view when you're looking at the LV as well as looking at the aortic valve. The best landmark to choose from is make sure your mitral is, is squared up uh, or truly perpendicular to the long axis view and then you'll have the best aortic valve and left ventricle views.